Next example, we want to show more complicated. We want to show you how SI, RSI 14 days uh, play and then want to compare it with the filter rule. So we have a buy signal when RSI less than 30. Uh, we don't have sell uh, because we only do day trading. So uh, when RSI is less than 30, we buy on that day and immediately we sell at the close. So buy and sell based on yesterday's signal. Okay. So the answer is very simple. Um, the book is the following, and it's 14 days. We 14 days. We based on closing price. Then it's a null vector, and RSI will be the RSI based on end day price. And the signal is uh, day one to day n is zero because the first end day is not trading. Uh, we need to wait wait end day to get the uh, uh, end day RSI. So the first end day is not trading. N plus one day to the end said. When RSI is less than 30, we buy, otherwise we don't. And here we uh, put back the price timestamp into the signal. And uh, because we trade based on yesterday signal, you should like it. And we multiply the return because the day trading, this is how the daily return uh, of what you're doing. And um, now we can combine. Uh, the build simple filter rule and the RSI rule. This is what we see, and RSI do much better than a uh, uh, filter rule. So let's see the code here. The code is we have shown is exactly the same. So let's see the uh, more clearly here. Um, the red one is RSI. Black one is the filter rule, and uh, uh, can see the drawdown is very minimal for RSI, so which is pretty good. It's uh, better, even better than the moving average. So it's uh, less than ten uh, percent. So it's uh, re pretty much uh, a good one uh, if you want to retrade. Although the return is not a lot, but at least uh, sixty percent. Uh, it's not a bad one. Uh, it's a very conservative uh, strategy. Only during the uh, somewhat uh, financial crisis time, it's not doing very well. But otherwise. Uh, Consistent making a nice profit. Um, finally, we want to do some comparison. Uh, if you have uh, two uh, trading rule, you want to compare more trading matrix, so we can see how the trades go on, uh, how the is look at the return, uh, where the minimum return, quantile return, and uh, variance ketosis. Uh, look at the uh, annual. Analyze return, look at the sub ratio, look at standard deviation. Um, so, sub ratio is basically the, the return minus over the standard deviation. So, basically, return over standard deviation gives you the uh, uh, sub ratio. So, let's see the uh, our cook here. So, you can see the table stat. Okay? So, it's, uh, everything is given here. Or the analyzed return. You can calculate. How you compare these two? Obviously, the sub ratio of RSI is much better than the filter because filter is losing money. So uh, the risk is pretty low. You can see the standard deviation not very high. Uh, the return is pretty good. So uh, it's a pretty nice uh, uh, strategy. So uh, here ends uh, how we do the uh, simple RSI rule. Thank you.